Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 15th. Uh, this week, we are just going to jump right in here, Aries, and we are going to take a look at your current energies with this main spread. And then we are going to clarify at the end with the little tarot here. And we're going to take a look at uh, what else will come up for you here, Aries. But this is already like a really nice reading. You have this delight card and this uh, peacock card, which says, let it shine. So I feel like you are kind of shining bright here. Something stands on its own here uh, for you, Aries. Did I say Libra? <laughs> I feel like I keep doing that to you, Aries. I don't know why I want to keep doing that. But Aries, I, this is something that stands on its own, I feel. And this could be a uh, some sort of um, you know, business idea. This could be something you're working on. It looks like a creative project. For others of you, it's very clearly love with the Two of Cups here. And what I mean by stands on its own is it's like just there's just equal give and take in this connection, Aries. So again, if you're looking for love or if you already have love, I would say this is a very solid connection with the Two of Cups. Something is changing in this connection, but it would be probably a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Um, even if things are fine in your relationship, you know, there's always room for improvements. There's always room to kind of try new things or, you know, spice things up, whatever you want to call it here, Aries. So I, I, this is you kind of like spicing things up here. Uh, you start off with this delight card here, and this is just like a card of feeling good, things going well, and you are delighted. You have the Six of Cups here. It's like you're releasing a burden in this first row here. So this to me is you, is like things kind of lightening up for you, Aries. I feel like things are just improving or getting easier. So there's some sort of improvement going on here. I need more detail on that. Yeah, you have this courage card as well, probably because you've st uh, stood up for yourself here, Aries, in a situation. I do get like a weird relationship situation where it's like maybe, maybe like again, there's probably nothing wrong. We all have challenges in relationships and things like that. We all have been in relationships that are fine, but maybe there's something that requires you to stand up. Maybe there's something you like. And, and I kind of feel that maybe you're just stopping something before it goes any farther, right? And, you know, I think that's a common problem as well in relationships where it's like one person or the other starts doing th something and then it like gets worse and worse and worse because nobody ever says anything. <laughs> and, you know, it's like I get this feeling of you standing up to something here, maybe in a relationship. For some of you, you could be, you know, standing up to a person leaving a relationship. But, you know, regardless of the direction, you're heading towards Two of Cups. You have the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Wands here. I get this like real like effort type of energy. That's the best way I could say it here, Libra, where you're just saying effort. I'm going to be direct. I'm going to be straightforward. I'm going to say exactly what I want. This is just going to lead to happiness for you here, Aries. Did I say Libra again? I don't know. Sorry, Aries. I don't know what is wrong with me uh, right now. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Uh, this is like the third time I've done this. But anyway, uh, Aries, I think that this is you standing up for yourself, being very direct, being very straightforward. And I feel like you're telling people exactly what you want. You're releasing burdens because of this. You're releasing things that have caused problems in your life with this Ten of Wands. I feel this guy here is kind of like putting things down one by one. What I think that message is saying is that, that these are in different areas of your life that you're releasing a burden. I feel like you do it maybe once or twice and it feels good and you're like, I'm going to do this everywhere else. So it's like maybe you're experiencing burdens in your family and maybe you're kind of doing things like setting boundaries or just telling people you're not going to do things for them anymore. And this is not like a greedy thing that you're doing here, Aries. It's just like maybe there are people who take advantage of you. Maybe there are people who are asking too much of you. And maybe you're just saying, you know what? I have other things that I need to do. I have other responsibilities. I can't help you. And I think you're just setting these very solid boundaries here with the Ten of Wands. But like, like I said, I, it, it starts in one place and I, it spills over into other areas of your life. This is very positive energy for you here, Aries. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. It's like you're about to become the Empress is what the Nine of Pentacles says. The Nine of Pentacles is you know pre-Empress energy. She's like the minor arcana version of the Empress. The Six of Cups, I feel, like, is just saying that you are focusing on your own happiness. Can't beat that, Aries. And look, people are starting to notice. You have this Let It Shine card. I do feel like once we start doing things like this in our lives, that we literally shine. I feel like people, we stand out. We carry ourselves differently. We have a different energy about us. 
And I feel like people are noticing the changes that you're making. And these are very significant, powerful changes. And it's like you're no longer going to be walked all over. I don't think it has to be that dramatic, as I always say, Aries. Like maybe for some of you, maybe you're, you've just been doing things for your family but I feel at the same time that it's like you have, maybe you have your own family and maybe you're like, you know what? I can't keep taking care of people who can't take care of themselves. That's a story that keeps popping into my head is that I feel for some of you Aries people, it's like saying that you can't keep giving you know, to people who can't even give to themselves, who can't help themselves. It's like you're pulling away from that energy. You have these six of pentacles, the nine of pentacles and the three of pentacles, love it. This is amazing. It's like your work is, it, it's like you're valuing yourself in your own work here. And because of that, you're receiving recognition, three of pentacles. This person, these people are rec looking at the hard work that this guy has done. And they're saying, hey, that's really good work. <laughs> the three of pentacles is a card of quality work. So you are really kind of paying attention to what's important here. The other thing that I really love about this middle row here, Aries, is that I don't think it matters what you're working on. Six of Pentacles is like planting seeds and it can be part of generosity and all these other things. But it's kind of like he's choosing where to put his energy. He's saying, you know what, I, maybe, he might be saying, I can't help this person over here, but I can help this person over here. You know, So I feel for some of you, this is kind of like a clue. It's saying that you're giving to the right place. The other thing I love, is that you have the nine of pentacles. She's keeping six pentacles for herself and she has these three pentacles on this side. She's willing to give away the three pentacles. I think most people think of giving as like needing to give away 50% of whatever they have or something like that. But she is actually truly giving in balance. She's making sure she has enough to maintain her lifestyle, whatever that is, and then maybe a little bit of extra. And then she's giving away whatever she can. This does not have to be money for you, Aries. This could be anything. It can be your time, your effort, your energy, your love in relationships. So it's like you're finally realizing how to give in true balance. It's like the Six of Pentacles is like giving in balance, but it's just fairness. And it kind of like is like nothing is important with the Six of Pentacles. You know, it's kind of hard for me. I'm, I'm trying to think about how to verbalize the message that I'm getting for you, Aries. But it's kind of like one of those things where it's like if you're giving exactly the same to everyone in your life, it's like what you're giving may not seem important but it's like if you're giving like the nine of pentacles here it's like when you give people really know you mean it or when you give them your time effort energy love it's like it's much more important almost uh, the reason i also think this is important is because i also feel like you're kind of valuing yourself with that nine of pentacles and i feel like you're finding relationships not just love, but all relationships. This to me is a big picture reading. This is extremely important for you. I feel that you are surrounding yourself with people where when they give, it's like super important. You know that it means something. It's not someone who's just like, you know, throwing, like this guy right here. He's just like, you know, throwing money at people. It's not even important. Nine of Pentacles is like giving with quality is what I feel this is saying. Again, three Pentacles, three of Pentacles, quality. So I, it's almost like you're more focused on quality, you know, could be quality time or whatever and i feel that it's like th there's something about meaning here is what i'm trying to say and so i feel like there's more meaning between what you give and also what you're receiving as well super powerful stuff here aries love it you have this uh, a change in the wind card like i said i just feel like this is the change that is happening for you here and it's like you're having a wake-up call with this judgment card you have the two of cups the judgment card and the ace of wands some sort of passion at new beginning I, when i first put these cards down i do feel some of you could be working on a, a current relationship aries where it's like you know maybe it got to this place here where it's just kind of like you're just kind of both giving each other energy but it's like there's nothing there and it's like you're trying to attach meaning to it. It's like you're trying to make something valuable. And I do feel you could be doing that with this energy. So if you're like trying to heal a relationship or trying to fix a relationship, it's like you're making it more valuable here in this last row. For some of you, I feel like this could be new love coming in for you. Judgment to me can be a love from the past, except when it comes up with a card like the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands to me is just you know too much new energy here. And it's kind of like that new excitement spark. It's more like the butterflies type of love, not necessarily like the, I've been with this person for 20 years type of love, right? So I, that's what's intuitively popping into my head. So I, there could be a very strong connection coming in for you here if you're not starting over with a person. Again, if you are, to me, 
uh, you know, if you're starting over with a person, this is not someone from the past. I feel like you have always been with this person, but maybe just things have gotten a little stale. So it's like you're starting over that, in that sense. If, the, if this is new love, I feel like it's just new love coming in for you. And so I really like that. I feel for others, this is you matching up with something perfectly here, probably like a creative project or maybe like a new business or something. Now let's see what here, Aries, but thank you for being here, Aries, really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to drop a like on this video. Really appreciate all the likes and all the support. I do feel some of you could be like waiting for a judgment. You have the hermit popping out here as well. I don't take pop outs, but we'll see if it comes up. I do feel some of you could be receiving a judgment kind of like in a court matter or something along those lines. So if you've been waiting for um, like a settlement, uh, this could be like a settlement coming in for you. It could also be a decision being made I'm getting here as well. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. There you go. I do feel you could be receiving an offer here, like as far as a settlement is concerned. And so that would be nice if you're waiting for a settlement. You have the Page of Cups. Definitely a new love, like I said. And the Ace of Wands. Boom. Right there. So I feel that there is something very significant coming in for you. You're making things easier, Aries, in your life is what this whole entire reading is saying. It's like, I know, like I try to talk about love because if I don't, then people don't watch the readings. <laughs> but, but... But what I would say is that my readings, I try to make them bigger picture because I feel like there's more important things in love. And to me, this is definitely a big picture reading for you, Aries. This is saying that you're making things easier in your life. You're going from the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands. It's like you're picking one thing to focus on. Maybe I said Libra at the beginning of this reading as well multiple times I feel like I don't know I could be going crazy but uh, I, th I think because Libra's reading was very similar to this but different if you have Libra, Libra on your chart I would definitely go watch that reading Aries because this to me is like saying you're focusing on things that are actually important Ten of Wands he's just busy for the sake of being busy he's carrying those burdens and he doesn't need to he could just throw those wands off there's no reason for him to do that Ace of Wands is like, I'm going to focus on this one thing here and going to Three of Pentacles. It's like you're saying, I'm going to build something of quality. I'm going to build something that matters. I'm going to build something that gets attention. It could be anything. It could be your body. You could be working on yourself. It could be you, it could be um, a business. It could be a job. It could be a YouTube channel. You know, it could be anything. It could be a relationship. It's like maybe you want a relationship that everybody talks about, right? And it's like you're really focused on building something of quality here. And I feel like you, that's what you're doing. You have the devil here showing up, the magician and the nine of wands. I feel like you're setting boundaries with anyone in a new uh, situation, new love situation, death card. I do feel this side story, we'll see what this is, king of wands. I feel like that's just your energy. Uh, I do feel that some of you could be kind of going through a divorce or a separation here. And it's like you're lo looking forward to a new beginning with this connection. For others... Again, I feel like the burdens, the devil here is just saying that what I was talking about earlier. I feel that some of you could be saying to yourself, like I'm attached to these like circumstances or I'm attached to people in my life for no reason. I keep getting this story popping into my head. I don't know if this is just for one of you or whatever, but it's like maybe you do things for your family, but maybe you've moved out and you have a family of your own. And I'm not saying it's not a bad thing to do things for your family, but if it's cutting into you know important things in your life, then that becomes toxic. So I get that feeling here where it's almost like, um, you know, I, like, I, I have like some friends, you know, and it's like they moved out. They have a family of their own. But the, my, my, one of my buddies, basically, he keeps going and he keeps like, you know, dr uh, getting groceries for his parents and he keeps mowing their lawn and all this other stuff. It's like, but he can't even take care of his own life. And it's like, I'm not criticizing him. But at the same time, it's like, dude, it's like you have your own life right? It's like you can't keep letting them control you. And that's like the feeling I get here. I'm not saying that the situation is exactly like that for you, Aries, but I get this like toxic thing where it's almost like you could be doing things for people that you don't need to do. But again, the good news is you're setting boundaries, nine of wands, and the magician, and you're standing up for yourself. So very important energy here. You have the death card as well. I just think it's the transformation, the change that we that you are going through here. Yeah, I feel like people will resist this with the Five of Pentacles because it's like you were always there, you know? So I feel there will be some resistance here. You have the Queen of Wands, but you're bossing up. Queen of Wands is wholehearted energy. She is also the, the first card in the Wands that represents... She is like the first step to boldness. This the first step to kind of you standing up for yourself. I always say she, she is the only Wands fire card that does not have... Uh, salamander on her cloak. The Knight of Wands and, and the first 
court card, I should say. The page of wands, knight of wands, and the king of wands all have salamanders on her cloak. And it's kind of like she's standing up for herself. She And, and the salamanders represent being protected from fire. And the reason this is important is because it's like she's standing up for herself, but she's not sure. Like, am I going to get burned? Am I going to, you know, am I going to lose things in my life? Am I going to lose people in my life? Or am I doing the right thing? But she, it's like she has to just try it before she can get to that king of wands energy. And that's like the story I'm getting for you. It's like you're standing up for yourself, but you're maybe a little bit nervous that you're going to be left out in the cold here, Aries, but you won't. Six of wands, success. You're heading towards this success. It's a very simple reading. I feel like you're making your life easier and you're about to step into this victory right here. I feel like you're about to kind of step into your own power here, Aries. Super powerful reading, just like the Libra reading <laughs> that, that I kept talking about at the beginning of your reading. But uh, this is really nice. So thank you for watching, Aries. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising. And you, sh you should probably go watch the Libra reading. Why not? Uh, and also make sure to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Aries, and enjoy your week.